Hello and welcome to another great episode of Z Sports Update. Here we update you on different items, different sports items. Of course, football being the biggest sport in the world, we're going to update you about players, transfers, and everything surrounding football, league tables, and everything that has to be exciting about football. We talk about it here and we try to find some joy and some satisfaction from this uh, world's greatest sport. So my name is Shizzy and I'm your host and this episode obviously is sponsored by So now we get into it. We've paid the bills and we get into it. We're going to start with the Copper Queens. Well, FAS just announced that um, they have uh, arranged a friendly with uh, Netherlands with the Netherlands with the Netherlands women team. Of course, if you remember last time they thrashed us 10-3 Although our own Barbara Banda, you know, she scored three goals and um, We got slammed by 10 goals to three. This game is is in preparation to, for the World Cup And I think in my opinion, I think this is a really really good move because um, and I think it's really brave of, 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 of the Zambian national team to go back to face um, such a um, heavy opponent looking at how they how they had um, um, defeated us last time. So um, it's good that we continue to play great teams uh, to gain experience to, to also know how other teams play and um, the Netherlands is a very 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 good team they've got uh, players like uh, Vivian Medema in there and she is she is hot uh, from a uh, player from Arsenal and she's really hot she's always banging in goes one of the best uh, players in the, in the in the women's league best players in the world uh, for, for women in terms of football and um, she banked four goals against us uh, last time and uh, she's one to look out so that's a uh, friendly that has been set for October uh, 6th and it's one to watch it's one to watch and uh, I, I honestly can't wait for for that to happen because um, uh, I would like to get some redemption. 10 was a lot of goals and uh, if we're going to be prepared, if we're going to say we are going to the World Cup and uh, we're going to say we're going to play the World Cup when we want to be successful in the World Cup, I think these are teams we should compete against and when we play against them, there should be competition. We need everyone to chip in, the defense, the midfield, high up in the end there, every single person, every single player needs to chip in with goals, with defense, with with the saves, the goalkeeper, the coach needs to be on point because the Netherlands is a very, 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 very good uh, team and we need to uh, look out for that. Yeah, so uh, now going on to the next topic, which is we go back to um, the topic that's been on fire again from Faz. We still don't have a coach ready for tomorrow, of course, we've got the assistants who are going to be able, who are going to uh, foresee the game. But our our head coach, uh, Aljosa Asanovic, I think I got the name wrong last yesterday. Aljosa Asanovic is not available. So news that's rumors that's going on, and news that's reaching me is that um, it seems to say it's just a rumor. It's not uh, it's not factual. Okay, rumors go going around is that he hasn't been paid. Okay, and that's the reason he's staying away. So, well, we wait to hear on what's going on there with Aljosa Asanovic and uh, what's really, really, what's really the matter why he can't make it and um, if he'll be, if he'll come back anytime soon. But the boys are preparing for the game. So, Klings Kangwa is in. Klings Kangwa has been on fire at his new club and um, he's in. Very, very talented midfielder. We've got Inok Mwepo. Basically, all the stars are in, but one to watch. I think the player that we should watch in this game is uh, Mtale. Mtale, let's watch Mtale. I, Joshua Mtale, he was on fire in the Kosafa, and I really um, love the way he, he turns and the way he moves with the ball. He was a really talented player, and I think he's one to watch in, in the game to see the development in terms of uh, who we should pick for next year's qualifiers. So, Let's watch some new players. Let's see how we, we perform. But Joshua Mtale is one to watch. Um, of course, we all know how Kling Skangwa plays and how Patson Daka plays and how Enoch Mwepi plays. Those are uh, 
standard for the qualifiers, those ones we can't miss, but they are players who we have to watch as well and see who can actually fit in the team and how well we can gel and how we can progress in terms of um, the qualifiers. It's been long since we went to the World go to the Africa Cup, so it'll be good, it'll be great. Uh, we've had a slump in form and um, we hope that obviously we can pick up in form and just qualify to the Africa Cup, please. In the Africa Cup, Jabe. It's not another, it's not, it's just Africa Cup. It's, that is our cup, we won it in 2012. We shouldn't be failing to go to the Africa Cup. That's a disgrace by our own standards. We raise the bar high and we should be raising the bar higher and not uh, lowering it. So, that's it for this episode on Z Sports Updates. Until next time, my name is Shizzy and this episode was sponsored by Yasmir Fabrication and Grocery on Wheel. Well, until later, see you soon.